I broke my face in like five large pieces. And Paul Smale's face was smashed when he crashed his bicycle coming home from work. It left him and his wife Wilma with a binder full of bills and medical records from his life-threatening injuries. Uh, my brain was swelling. One of the big expenses was the nearly $30,000 it cost to fly Paul from his neighborhood in Lewis County to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle, a job handled by the professionals of Airlift Northwest. The flight likely saved Paul's life. And I get the $30,000 for the helicopter ride. I, I understand that. What they can't fathom is this bill that arrived at their house recently. Ambulance company AMR charged them for carrying Paul from the Harborview Hospital helipad a few hundred feet to the emergency room door. $1,032, I think. Um, I thought it was very high for doing what? I thought it was like some sort of scam. So what does your thousand bucks get you? Well, let's count the distance in steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, 195, 196, 197, 198. Okay, this is 200 steps now from helipad to hospital emergency room door. 200 steps for a thousand bucks. You're landing at a trauma center hospital and now the patient has to pay for an ambulance to pick you up there and drive you from the backside of the hospital half a maybe a half a block, I mean, just around the corner. You know, it's, that's pretty crazy. A Harborview spokesperson says people have complained about bills from these helipad short hops for years, but the hospital hasn't been able to find a cheaper way to safely move critical patients. Just before this interview, the Smales learned their insurance company will likely pay the bill. Wilma, who is herself a nurse, says the $1,000 fee is a burden that only causes trauma victims more pain. Because I'm trying to figure out how to fix the problem so this doesn't happen to other people. Chris Ingalls, King 5 News.